Today, we're talking about negative noticing. Your brain's habit of noticing the worst thing in the room and ignoring the rest. And yes, the fear circuit is back because when you grow up with trauma, it hijacks all your other circuits, especially the sensory filter. Negative noticing starts in the thalamus, your sensory filter. It scans your environment and decides what information actually reaches your higher brain. So if your belief is people are unsafe, the world is cruel, something bad is coming, your thalamus says, got it, I'll just highlight things that prove it. And the positive stuff filtered out as irrelevant to survival. Then the watchtower and default mode network take that filtered input and say, see, we were right. Boom, belief gets reinforced. This is where it becomes a self-fulfilling loop. You meet one rude stranger and it cancels out the nine kind ones. But it doesn't stop there because once your thalamus is scanning only for negativity, your body posture and vibe shift. Watch my own metamorphosis as I describe it. You pull your guard up, you close off, you stop smiling. How unapproachable do I look with this sort of vibe? And how do you think others would respond to me with that vibe going on? They're going to be more neutral, less open, and less warm. So their reactions confirm the belief that, see, people are cold, people are uncaring. But really, the sensory filter created the expectation and the defensive body language created the reaction. And that's the hamster wheel. When the sensory filter only gives you negative data, the hippocampus only stores negative data and the default mode network only builds negative narratives. It's not pessimism. It's literally neurobiology shaping your perception. You can't believe in what your brain refuses to notice. If you want the full breakdown and my favorite tool for rewiring the sensory filter, I wrote an article on it, Negative Noticing and the Power of Our Sensory Filters. I'll try and link it in the description. Tomorrow, we'll talk about imposter syndrome, the inner critic that hijacks your default mode network and erases your accomplishments.